Hi y'all, I'm Kayla with Live Oak Nest. Welcome back to my home. So today I have a fun little box opening to share with y'all. So this is the Winter Maker Box. It's from Maker Studio. Um, I've shared some of their products with y'all before and I absolutely love them. So this is a great box if you're wanting to kind of get into crafting or if you're just wanting a couple of things that are already kind of um, decided for you to do that you can just have an afternoon um, and create some things. So let's get this opened up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all of the amazing good things in here. So a maker studio, they have stencils, they have um, gold foil, they have inks um, that you can use on fabrics or um, ceramics. They have um, chalk ink, which can be used on chalkboards and wiped off. It can be used on mirrors, things like that. Um, there are just so many things in here and they actually recently added um, resin. So I'm excited to give that a try. So they, in this box right here, and let me remove these because that's not part of the box. But I'm going to use it to make something. Um, so these are resin earrings, or you will make resin earrings with that. It comes with the little hooks for those. They've included a couple of different stencils. Um, love sharing the last bite of cake, even when you really want it yourself. Grow old with me, the best is yet to be. So these are mesh stencils, and they are amazing. They're sticky, they're reusable. Um, and they are so good to not bleed um, under the the um, actual stencil. So the print, when you lift the stencil up, will be very crisp um, and look really nice. This one's super cute. You could do a whole thing with this um, for a party, for a tablescape. This one's really cute. This is one of my favorite ones, I think. This is a new stencil, weekend junker. Today I'll be happier than a vintage dealer with a truckload of junk. And then you can also use like this little pattern here on the side. So, so cute. Love this one. So cute. I think I have an idea for one of these too. Um, and all of these stencils, you can, I mean, you can cut them apart, so you can just use this. You can use, lay your stencil on and just use like this section of it. You can mix and match, which I'm planning to do for a few of the projects that I'm gonna to share today. Um, so like you could put like junk love on something or um, vintage love, you know, something like that. So you can mix and match these and you can cut them up and use them however you like. So there are tons of options for those. Okay, so this, this little set here also came with some dried flowers. You can use these in the resin. Um, so you could do them in the earrings. You could do a couple of the petals in there. And then I think, oh yeah, here it is. So they sent this home um, mold. So you could even do flowers in there if you wanted to. This would be cute, it's resin, so once it dries it will stand up, but it would be cute um, in a tear tray if you decorate a tear tray. And let's see, they also sent some blank cards and envelopes so you can make your own cards. And they also sent the resin mixture. Um, so it's part A and part B and you mix them together to make your um, resin. So they sent that so we can do our earrings and our little sign and then this is the chalk art so this is like the paint that you can wipe off wipe on and off um and then they sent two of the gel art ink this is metallic copper and this is like a turquoise blue super cute and then they sent gold leaf and then this little bag here there's a paintbrush a sponge circle brush um, and the gilding which you use with the gold leaf so very cool okay and then they also send instructions
for the different projects. Okay. So, like, they show you how to use the gold leaf on the envelopes in that one. They show you how um, to use their stencil and their chalk art on this sign. And then on this one, they're sharing how to do the resin earrings, how to use the um, gel art ink on fabric. So they're doing a t-shirt and that instruction. And this is just the little thank you sign that comes with your box and the Maker Club letter. So when you purchase the um, any of their Maker Boxes, you're automatically put into their Maker Club. Um, and when you're a part of the Maker Club, you get like exclusive discounts, um, products, codes, things like that. So that's really cool if you love just doing crafts. Um, that'll be awesome to be a part of. So this is a box. Um, all of these goodies are valued at over $200 and it's $99 to purchase. So that's an awesome deal. Um, and honestly, the amount of projects you can make with these items is unbelievable. So you'll have, you'll have a lot of products left over even if you just um, put together these right here. So you'll have inks left over, of course you'll have the tools, um, flowers, the stencils you can use over and over and over again, you can mix and match them. So every kit kind of builds on itself and you, with each kit, kind of build your own little collection of craft supplies. So. I have a few um, ideas for some of this and I'm going to work on a few projects with y'all and share with you how you can use some of this. So let me get that together and let's get started. So for this first project, I am going to um, put this stencil, serve up something good on this long, narrow cutting board. So I picked up this cutting board from Hobby Lobby. It's part of their spring um, collection. It was $15.99. It was half off. So for eight bucks, I thought this would be really cute. Um, this would be a really cute gift to give to a hostess. You could give it with like a little tea towel or something like that. And that would be so cute, but I really love this stencil and I thought it was perfect for this South cutting board. Um, so I'm going to use the chalk art, which you can, um, use this like on mirrors or, glass, things like that, and then wipe it off with water, but you can also seal it. So I'm going to use it on here and then, um, I can seal it with, um, like a polyacrylic or something like that. So if you do that, just be cautious. Um, if you're going to seal it with something like acrylic to see if it is food safe, if it's not, then you would just want to lay like parchment paper down or something, um, or just use it for little bowls to put like nuts and olives, things like that in. So Let's see, I thought I was going to cut this stencil off, but since I'm using this bottom one here, I think I'm just gonna peel it up and lay down the part that I need. So 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all, these stencils, I'm just so amazed every time. I mean, how dang cute. Serve up something good. That is stinking adorable. Okay, so now that the stencil's off, you just wanna take this to your sink and run it under um, warm, soapy water. And you can take like a soft sponge and scrub, but you do wanna go ahead and do it and not let this sit and dry because um, you wanna make sure it gets cleaned out of all the little mesh stencils. So I'm gonna run do that and then be back. Okay, so that took me no time at all to do that. I mean, that is awesome. So just think of this like as a hostess gift, you could use a little tea towel. Um, I mean, it's so, so cute. I love it. You could even do, if you didn't want to seal it, um, you could just do a piece of plastic wrap and then set your bread or whatever on it if you wanted to take it to um, an event or something like that. So. I'm gonna set this to the side and let's see. The next one I think I'll do. So I think I'm gonna use this chalk art again. Um, one thing I like to do is hit up the clearance section at Hobby Lobby um, or go to thrift stores to find things if you're wanting to um, do little projects like this because it's inexpensive. Um, and it's just a good way to make something over and give you the look you want. So for this project, I had the idea um, to do one of these stencils on a vase, um, or I'm sorry, on a cloche, and there weren't any on sale. <laughs> and I didn't want to do it on mine. And then my original idea was to etch it on the vase. Um, but then I was like, this stuff can go on glass, so I'm gonna use this and then, you know, if I don't like it or if it messes up, I can just wipe it off. Um, so I thought that would be a really fun way to make over this vase. And this was in the clearance section um, because the lid is missing, which I didn't want the lid because I'm using it as a vase anyway. So I'm going to put the stencil on here and then I thought I'd tie a bow around it and put a pretty floral arrangement in here. And I like to keep the paper, I like to keep this whole thing for the stencils. Even if I cut them apart, I'll go back and stick them in there cut apart. It just helps kind of keep it organized. So I wanted to do this one for spring and I thought this bee, this one right here might be cute. So I think I'm gonna do that one. So I'm gonna take my stencil. I don't have to. Easiest way to get it centered here. I love this idea. <laughs> um, I think, I mean, look, this would be so gorgeous etched too. I need to get, Maker Studio has etching cream. And I need to get some of that. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Um, I like that it's pointed so I can kind of press into these areas and it's a little bit stiffer. So this one's pretty loose. Um, so I'm gonna use this one for this little project just because this little line down here is so close to the edge. So one of the reasons I love these stencils so much is because of the detail that you can get. So I've made a lot of stencils with my Cricut for just like little signs and little craft projects but I could never get this kind of detail with my Cricut um, because you can't weed out all of this. I mean, I guess you could, but who has time for that? It would take forever. And look, this is so detailed. So I'm just making sure to get it pressed down in there really well. And I like to do it a couple different directions when I'm applying it to make sure that I'm getting it into the mesh really well. I like to hold it up so y'all can be as amazed as I am. <laughs> oh my 
gosh. I don't even know if y'all can see that good. Here, let me set this down. Okay. I'm gonna have to put something dark in there so that y'all can see it. Let's see if y'all can see it any better. <laughs> I mean, it's, you actually can't. <laughs> I need something solid. Oh my gosh, this is so dang cute. Okay, I need a lot of these. Um, okay, the other idea, how cute would this be? Um, I mean, even in your laundry room, if you stored clothespins, dryer balls, you could put them in your office, you could do them in the kitchen with, if you have an actual lid on it. Um, okay, this might be my favorite, favorite one. So I got this ribbon off of, off of, um, where did I get this? Amazon. And I thought, so I'm kind of doing this mauve pink in all of my spring decor this year. Um, and I'll wait till it's dry really well. But I thought it would be really cute to do it kind of like this and then do my big bow on the side. Um, and then have all my florals. I'm going to do um, I'm going to do this today I'll be happier than a vintage dealer with a truckload of junk and I'm going to put it on this little canvas bag so this was a dollar 69 from Hobby Lobby um, and you can catch these half off as well but when I go thrifting or go to a place like Canton or somewhere where it's a bunch of shops and it's a ton of walking. I don't like to carry a purse. And so I thought this would actually be great because I can stick my wallet in there, my phone and my keys. Um, and so then you just have this to keep up with and you don't have to carry everything separately. So I thought that would be perfect for this stencil. And I am gonna put a book down in there so that book will fit. But I thought I should probably wrap it with paper towel. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm gonna cut this stencil out. You know what else would be cute? <laughs> Is if you did this on like a piece of um, muslin fabric and then um, stitched it on so that it was still frayed around the outside. That'd be real cute. So I'm going to do one of these and I, I'm going to actually do that on another one. Okay. So let's take my little tag off here. And for this one, I can't decide. I'm thinking I might do gold um, or this copper color. Cool. Let's put this on. It's hard for me to get it straight <laughs> without moving it out of y'all's frame. I think it looks like it's on there pretty good. So I have been using this little piece of plastic. I don't even know what this came with, but it is perfect for this. Um, it just kind of helps you varnish it on or press it down and get it really good and adhered. You could use like a credit card too. I would love to do this on a hat too. I love hats. I always wear a hat when I go um, jumping and stuff because you're just hot and sweaty anyway. So another thing I love about these boxes, these uh, like the Maker Box 
because they have them through, throughout the different seasons, but it's like they give you the opportunity to try out things without having to buy tons of supplies just for one little thing. So like even this, I've never put um, a stencil on fabric before, but I'm able to try it out and see how I like it. The same thing with the glass um, and even the resin. I've not worked with resin before, but I'm excited to give it a try and see if I like it. Um, it's just a good opportunity to try new things and just have fun crafting, which I just, I love crafting. It just makes me happy. And even if it's not something that like, even if you're just wanting to do something, but you don't have a project in mind for your house, um, you can always make something and give it to a friend. So, okay. I feel like I have it pretty good. So I'm going to, I'm going to peel it off and see how we did here. Okay, y'all. I know I can't get any more excited about these. <laughs> this is amazing. I mean, how dang cute. I love it so much. Okay, the, the color is amazing. It's perfect. I love this color um, for the bags especially. You can also do grays, but I like the little bling in the copper. I think it's really, really pretty. So, I'm gonna wash off this stencil. And I wanted to say too, so once you wash it off with warm soap and water, just lay it on a paper towel with a sticky side up. So I'll lay it like this, um, and then it air dries, and then I'll just slap it back on this piece of paper and slide it back into um, that clear sleeve. Okay, so now I'm just gonna slide out my book. And it didn't even bleed through, so that's cool. Awesome. So I don't really mind. I mean, there's a couple of spots I could have filled in a little better, but I don't even mind that it looks like that because it looks vintage and I like that look, the kind of like weathered, distressed look. Y'all, that is too cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, absolutely love that project. For this little project, I just wanted to show you all several different ideas with this box and how many different things you can make, gifts and home decor. Um, so for this project, I wanted to make a couple little signs. So you could use these interior trays just sitting on the kitchen counter. Um, you could make a cute little one and give it as a gift. So these were in the clearance section of Hobby Lobby and um, I'm going to paint them and I'm going to put this stencil on this one. I thought that would be cute in the kitchen. And then on this little guy, I think, I thought I would do, if it'll fit, um, the word love. And I think I might use the gold leaf on that one. So I thought that would be pretty. Um, and since, oop, since I'm doing like the blush and pinks colors this spring, I'm going to go with that. And, and it's Valentine's, you could use this stuff for Valentine's Day. So, um, I am going to get a coat of paint on these two and let them dry before I add on the stencils. And I didn't want to share this with you. So this was 224. You could probably find even something similar at the dollar store. That one was $1.99. Um, but just super simple to paint and make over and turn into um, a cute little piece of home decor or a gift. So let me get some paint. 
I left all the stickers on <laughs> so that I could show you all the prices. Um, just to, just so you can see how affordable some of this stuff can be. You know, I mean, you can do a whole gift for under five dollars. Um, I, I don't absolutely love Fusion Mineral Paint. I just have had people say, you know, it's amazing, and it is good in certain, um, on certain projects. But like on this, I guarantee you, if I just put this paint on here, it would definitely scratch off very easily. So I feel like you either um, need to put like a primer on it. And in this case, I'm going to use this chalk primer as a primer to my <laughs> fusion mineral paint. Um, I think it works really well on raw wood, but if it, something's already painted, even if you clean it and you sand it and you use the TSP, I just have not had good luck with it sticking. So for this project, since I know that I'm going to go ahead and put, um, a coat of chalk paint. And this is the Waverly brand, you can get it at Walmart. So this is pretty good and dry. I might hit it one more time with the heat gun. I'm going to put this stencil on like this and I'm going to use this again. So I'm gonna use the white cause I like white and that mauvey color. And then I think I'll put a bow on it. On this one here, you can see if I'm trying to center this on this piece of wood, I want the same amount of space after that period. So I'm gonna take this cutter and I'm eyeballing this here. I'm not about that far. There we go. I'm gonna take that off. That way when I place it on, I can get a better feel for what's centered, even though it's left aligned on the art. So I think this looks good, instead of being all the way over here and having space over here. Okay, cute, cute, cute. And it's about the same from the top and bottom, so I'm not, it looks like a little bit more, but I'm not too worried about that. So again, I'm using this chalk ink, which you can rub off um, if you put it on glass or something and decide you wanna remove it, but you can also seal it. So after it's dried really well, I can go over this with like polyacrylic um, and make sure it's sealed. Do y'all decorate for Valentine's Day? I've done some in the past. Um, I don't, y'all know I don't do crazy colors. <laughs> I like everything muted and um, so I don't do red and I don't do bright pinks, but I like, I love this mauve color and decided I was going to do, um, this color in our 
living area and dining for the spring season. Let's go ahead and peel it up. Oh, that's hilarious, y'all. I put it on upside down. <laughs> I guess if I wanted to hang this, I should have paid attention, but I wasn't planning to hang it, so it's all right. So cute. I love it. Adorable. Oh my gosh. It's such, it, I mean, it just looks so good. I love it. So I think I'm going to add a bow. Um, and I will probably seal this too when this one's getting dry. Okay, so here's kind of how it looks up close. Again, I don't mind like the vintage -y look, but I do think if I, I think a Maker Studio has a squeegee that you can use with their stencils and I need to get one of those because I think it would solve a little bit of that problem because it can push it through really well because that mesh is so, so tiny. So I love this. So this is the one I think I want to do gold leaf on this, this word love and put it on here. And then this is this this is called gilding size and it's the product that makes the gold leaf stick okay so this says lay your stencil down you'll load your brush with the size apply it to the stencil working very quickly remove the stencil and wash it immediately and then once the size has come to tack, it will appear translucent. Okay, so let's put this to the side because we don't need it just yet. We are going to apply this product right here. So I'm guessing it starts drying really quickly and you want to hurry up and get it washed off your stencil. Here we go, here goes nothing. <laughs> we can always paint over this, I guess. Put this lid on so I don't knock it over. Now we're gonna peel it up and run wash the stencil. Okay, so it says it'll be translucent when it's ready. So I'm just waiting. I could be able to see on a couple little spots that still look kind of white. And then we'll put the foil on. I don't really want to do this. Okay, it's weird because it's all together. And I guess you it says hold the spine and lay it down like that. that sheet off so that stays together so in the stencil like see where there's a little bit missing there that was, oh here, I don't know if you can see. Um, like right there, that was empty. So I'm not sure if I can get all that out of there. I mean, it's not ugly. <laughs> it's not great, but it's not cute. I think too, because that, 
It would probably be better on a stencil that's more solid. Um, because it's so runny, I think it ran under the stencil in some parts. And since it was so detailed, I mean, it's definitely, it's still cute. It's not bad, but like, see like some of this area right here where it kind of ran together. So I don't know, I think it turned out pretty cute. If I could have got some of that fixed, I think it would look good. So I might scratch this, paint over it and try it with the gold um, or the copper paint and see if it looks better with that stencil. Y'all, so it's getting dark, but I wanted to redo this one. I didn't like it. So I decided it would look better if I did a little heart in the gold foil. Um, and sorry about the lighting, but I just drew out a heart on a piece of paper, traced it onto here, and now I'm going to apply the gilding and then apply the gold leaf. Okay, this looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna take these loose pieces. Okay, I'm much happier with this over the letters. So I think the other one was just too detailed. But I love how this turned out. I think this is cute. This would be really cute in a little tear tray. But this is so cute. See how look, these look really cute together. So love it, love it. I'll get everything styled up and share with you. But as y'all can see, like look at the amount of projects that I did. And I have not even put a dent in the amount of items that came in my kit. So I still wanna do a lot of stuff with the resin. Um, which I have some fun ideas with that for the earrings and the little sign. Um, but this is where I landed today. And I just wanted to share with y'all how many projects you can make with the amount of things they send you. So. y'all so much for watching and for joining me it was so fun to work through um, this winter makers box with y'all and learn some new talents and some skills um, and just have a good time so um, let me know in the comments of what your favorite project was and I will see you again soon for another fun DIY y'all take care